everybody. I uh, just want to take a couple of minutes here to uh, introduce you uh, to the latest news about the pie menus <clears throat> for Blender. Um, I had read in uh, the forum somewhere that somebody did not want to use uh, the pie menus because uh, they didn't want to get used to it and then it would uh, then it would no longer be developed or go away or whatever. But uh, let me show you something here. Here's uh, some of the developer meeting notes. Uh, and this was from January 27th. And it looks like uh, in the other projects here, uh, it says Ton will free up time to port over Pi menus to Blender for 2.67. Okay, so uh, we're just getting, or they are getting ready to uh, release 2.66 uh, very soon. So 2.67 is uh, a little ways away, a few months. So, uh, but you can still download the add-on. Uh, so I will put the link in the description for uh, the thread where you can go in, uh, in the Blender Artist forums uh, where you can go to download it. And uh, what you'll do is uh, go to that link and then <clears throat> currently at the time uh, I am recording this, it uh, the test build from uh, January 28th is there of 2013, of course. Um, and you can download that, and it's an add-on. So now, when you download it, hang on, I got an extra window open here. Okay. All right. When you download it. Uh, the next thing you want to do to install it is you're going to either go to the file menu and go to user preferences or you can use the hotkey control alt u and bring up uh, your user preferences and then the fourth uh, little uh, section here is add-ons and you will click the add-ons Okay, and when you download that, it's going to be a zip file. You do not need to uh, unzip that. What you want to do is uh, down here at bottom, you will see uh, two buttons here. One is save user settings, and the next one over is install from file. So you'll click install from file. And then uh, wherever you downloaded and saved the uh, the zip file to for the Pi menus, is you want to go to that. And I have it here in a folder that I've made up, um, and I just titled it Blender Add-ons, and I keep all my add-ons in there. And what you'll do is just scroll um, or find that uh, zip file. Remember, you do not have to unzip it and you'll just click and highlight it you you can double click it or you can just go up here and uh, to install from file and uh, after you've in, installed it from file uh, another little window will uh, pop up in preferences and you'll have to put a checkbox uh, to uh, activate that and then remember um, let me just open that back up and show you. Okay, after you install from file, then uh, you'll need to, this little uh, selection area will pop up and uh, you will see uh, 3D view pie menus and you'll just have to put a check in this, this check box here. So, anyway, um, that's how you install it. And, uh, okay, there we go. 
my little drawing menu from my recording software wouldn't go away. Okay, now after you've uh, got it installed, uh, you will notice um, that I've I've got uh, my outliner and stuff hidden. Okay, in the end panel, uh, you can scroll down. And then you will notice now with this uh, latest release that uh, you will have a, a section here for Pi menus and uh, the preferences. You can go and uh, let's see, like the first uh, option here is a 3D view menu. Um, you can choose to turn that on or off down here. And uh, if at some point you want to uh, go and change the hotkeys to bring up those Pi menus, just under the on and off button is the key bindings. If you uh, uh, click that key bindings, it brings up your user preferences and gives you access uh, in the input portion of the user preferences um, to go in here and change your hotkeys. Um, for instance, uh, the one that I did go and change uh, was in mesh mode uh, for uh, the uh, selection, the, the 3D selection. Let me just show you that. Um, when I'm in edit mode, I can go in here and I can hold my Alt key and right click and it brings up the Pi menu to uh, switch between my component selection. So anyway, let's go back uh, to object mode. Alright, and you will also see some options uh, under the uh, key bindings. I'm not sure about this clock. Let's just let's just see what that does. Uh, don't know. Double size. Okay. Now there's another uh, option there to double the size. That's huge. Uh, clock. Okay. Uh, the clock option under the preferences takes away the uh, the uh, middle the the middle um, dial. Uh, looks like a clock with a hand on it. Um, so. Here it is without uh, the clock option uh, checked and then I'm going to go in here and turn it back on and you can see you have this center here on. Um, okay. Oops. Didn't mean to go there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Border delay. Uh, pie squish. I haven't uh, messed with it the, any of those settings yet um, you can go ahead and play with those I don't I don't like the delay I don't want much of a delay on it I want it to come right up Pi squish uh, I don't know what that does let's let's change it and see what it is okay maybe the distance between uh, well I don't know Pi diamond. Don't know what that does either. Uh, you may head over into the into the Blender Arts forum and forums and ask questions about that. So uh, okay, that covers that part of it. Now let's actually go in here and and cover the hotkeys for bringing up uh, each pie menu. Okay, I've got some notes here, and I'll look back at them back and forth at them. Okay, the tab uh, key, of course, gives you, uh, brings up the Pi menu for, uh, to go to your uh, different modes. You have your object mode, vertex paint, texture paint, weight paint, edit, and sculpt mode. And there's a cup, couple more here. I think it's a particle comb. And I think there's also another Pi once you get into uh, particles. And I don't ask me anything about that because I really, really don't know anything about that. And I think the other option there is, is bones mode, I think. Um, not sure. 
Okay, and that was the tab key uh, to go into your different modes. And you will also notice there are icons now uh, here. Okay, and uh, that was the tab key. And let's go ahead and bring up our notes again. And okay. All right, then you have uh, the control tab, which is uh, the option I had showed you a few minutes ago that I customized, which is control and tab, which brings up your um, component selection, um, for your faces, edges, inverts, and so on and so forth. And also, uh, you'll notice in here that uh, you can select an option for verts and faces, or verts and edges, or edges and faces, verse or verts, edges and faces, which is which is really nice. Okay. Uh, let's go to the delete menu. Um, the X key. Okay, I'm not going to talk about how these these function, but the X key will give you access um, to dissolve and delete edge loops, vertices, faces, and so on and so forth. And let's see here. Let's go to sculpt mode. Okay, tab to go in, uh, choose the modes. I uh, went into sculpt mode and uh, the hot key there. Control T. Control T. Okay, um, never, never used any of these. Um, the options there are reg, 3D, tiled, area plane, view plane, user, and random. So, if you're a sculpting guy or gal, you uh, should know what that is. Um, I'm just been experimenting and sculpting myself. And by the way, uh, 2.66 uh, dynamic topology is included in there. Uh, this is about the pie menus, but I sure had to make mention of uh, the dino topo because it's awesome. Okay, let's go back. Um, to our object mode here for a minute and look at our notes again. Uh, well, let's see, we're going to need to go back into sculpt mode because you do have a few options. All these hotkeys are listed um, in the link that I will post in the description uh, to the thread uh, where the download is. Okay, head over into sculpt mode. And we'll start with the A key, which brings up uh, some brush settings here. Airbrush, space dots, anchored, smooth on, and drag dot. Okay, the next option we want uh, is uh, something I just really started uh, using that I really, really like is... Uh, the V key, um, you can change the size of your brush, and if you have a, you can turn on and off dyno, uh, dynamic topology there, and then you can use this little slider here. You have several sliders in here for smooth radius, smooth factor, strength, space, auto smooth, angle, uh, you name it, it's in there. That's a, a pretty awesome addition. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the hotkey Q. Okay, the Q, I'm just going to tap my Q, and it uh, brings up the menu uh, to switch to your viewports, uh, front, right, top, back, left, selected, bottom, and camera. And also there you have the option to switch in and out of orthographic and perspective and also local. and that was the Q key. Okay, shading mode is the Z key. And I'm going to tap my Z key and switch back and forth between wireframes, solid smooth, bounding box, so on and so forth. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. And that was the Z key. 
Oh, let me mention too also, if uh, you're going through here and let's say you meant to hit the Q key and bring up uh, the view menu, uh, but you accidentally hit tab, all you have to do is uh, either move your mouse out away from the menu or you can uh, just right click to uh, exit out of that or it may be left click I have my selection set to uh, left which is the opposite of the default in blender so I'm not sure uh, which that would be to close that menu up I'm pretty sure it's still right okay let's look at our notes again here proportional or uh, you know, shading mode we just covered that which was Z <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm a little hoarse. Um, the O key brings up your pro proportional editing. And you have all your same options that you have down in uh, your header down here. Uh, you have the option to turn it on or off, connected. Uh, and then you have your settings here, your smooth sphere, root sharp, linear contrast, and random have all those options here there okay uh, we're gonna need to go back into uh, oh before we go let's yeah let's go ahead and go into sculpt mode again I'm gonna tap my uh, tab key and go into sculpt mode and then we have um, oh yeah the uh, the number one, two, and three key. Number one brings uh, gives you some uh, brushes there. Your clay strips, draw, crease, layer. Uh, number two gives you some more brush options. Number three, even some more. So uh, let's see how they are listed. That is uh, number one is the gray brushes. Two is red brushes. Three is tan brushes so uh, there's one more thing here uh, in particle mode uh, which I've never used before uh, so you guys may know what this is if you uh, use particles um, the uh, number one key in particle mode is the uh, particle comb pie so and I don't even know how to go into that. Okay, uh, that pretty much covers all of those. There is one more that I want to show you. Go ahead and close these notes up. Go back into edit mode. Okay, um, if you're like me, you use uh, your your widget uh, quite a bit. Some people don't use their uh, widget at all a lot of people just have that turned off and, and if you remember um, well not remember but is in in the uh, in blender the uh, control and space uh, turned your uh, widget or your manipulator on and off but now if you will uh, use control and space you can turn your manipulate it brings up the pie menu for the manipulator uh, to turn it on and off and also um, to change between translate rotate and scale which is pretty great so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select this uh, let's see let's select a face here I've got the, this face selected I'm gonna hit control and space and then I can switch to rotate, control space, I can switch to scale. Uh, for me, this is really, really fast. You still have the option to change to those down here on your uh, on your header. And you can, I pretty much, pretty often uh, will have translate, um, the translate manipulator up and then I'll shift click on the scale so you can uh, the widget will translate move and also you can s scale to uh, without switching between them but uh, 
I think that just about covers it. I'm, I apologize if I went too fast. Um, so I think we can. I think it would be safe to say that uh, the pie menus are going to be into the trunk. Um, there's a possibility they won't be, but it really looks like looking at uh, the developer meeting notes from the end of January it looks like that they will be included so I hope you enjoyed this video and and hopefully I shared some information with you that that you didn't have or maybe you can leave a comment and at the bottom of the video and give me some information that I need and uh, but anyway I do appreciate you watching uh, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.